to the live stream. We are fmtrain.tv, where we're here to discuss the wonderful and fantastic FileMaker platform. My name is Margaret. I'll be your broadcast engineer for today. I am here with the wonderful Nick Hunter, who is a fantastic senior engineer and who we are doing a long-running series with, where he takes a file and pretty much renovates it from start to finish. Uh, Ken is the person who has graciously given us his file and is currently being renovated. It's been a long process, but it's been very entertaining going over a variety of techniques that engineers use day-to-day -day when they're working on stuff. So, that being said, let's talk about our schedule. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so we are doing day 15 of existing FileMaker file design and modernization workshop. Tomorrow will be curl options with insert from URL with Leland Long. That should be fun. Friday will be an update on what's new in the FileMaker Monkey Bread plugin 13.2 release. Should be pretty cool. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday... I'll be continuing this series uh, as we go on and do new renovations. If you'd like to support the channel, real quick, I'm going to remind you, we have our FM training and description bundles. It is 100 plus hours of really high energy video training content. Pretty much covers every basic subject under the sun and intermediate subjects as well for you to get confident in executing your own FileMaker files. Um, Nick is a presenter, Richard's a presenter, Calvin... Jacob, people, everyone you know about and seen on the streams presents in this series. Uh, it's very cohesive, animated, short little bits. Cause people are always like, oh man, you guys go on and on and on in your live streams. And yeah, we do, but also live streams are more meant to be live lectures uh, that interact with the audience questions. So it goes on longer than like animated short bits that are edited down. If you're like, I really need little short, tiny, bite-sized videos to explain the FileMaker platform to me, get this. It helps support the channel, keeps us running, and helps uh, all the shenaniganery that we get involved in. So, thank you very much if you have about it. We greatly appreciate it. Okay, with that being said, Nick, I'm going to start you off with the question that we couldn't grab yesterday, if that's okay. Question from yesterday, Lynn. Why did you include the pilot ID in the relationship with the document ID? My guess is so that when you go to a different pilot, the prior, the prior pilot's container will not be showing. So why in the relationship I included um, the, okay, so let's back up, okay. okay. This relationship here, right, um, shows all the documents related to that pilot, which is okay, uh, because, uh, you know, a unique ID for the pilot, and we have a parent key here and the foreign key here, that, is a traditional relationship with FileMaker or Polo, nothing new there. Here we have, we, we populate a global field with an ID, the ID of the documents that we pull from that list here. So the button here populates a field with the ID of that document. And then I have a relationship that shows me the document from the global. So, you know, I'll show you here. So this here, where am I here? In, in, okay, here. So this is all. The, so this relationship is for this polar here, right? So here we have pilot with the foreign key. And here, this one is to show the information on the documents, right? For the document that we selected based on a global field, right? I put the ID of the document here, that and that the, the the parent key. So I'm putting the ID of the document, and here I have the ID of the document. So I have a relationship. But I included as well the ID of the pilot, which I could, I did, I don't have to do that, right? So let's let's delete this for now, you know. So let's delete just the documents, right? So here I have, I have documents, right? So let me grab some pictures. Uh, then I have some example here. So let me grab this. Oh, we cannot do this. Okay, cool. Uh, so I don't know how save image and save image. This one I have it. Okay, she asked me. So let me save some image, right? Then I have some image. Save image. And uh, so, uh, okay. So I have this one. And I have this one too. 
So and then I have some image uh, to show up, right? Okay, so so I have this this guy here, right? This pilot, I've Ken, with images, right? So uh, this is the image, the free image we have for that uh, pilot, right? But here I have another pilot that doesn't have any photos. But you see what happened here. So he has no photos, but I still show, right? I still show this image here. The last image, so let me put back this, okay. The last image I selected, right? So here, this is a global field. So I have the ID of the image that I last selected here. If I select this one, right? I showed this one, but if I go to another person, boom, I still have it. Because, right, it's the ID is there. It's, it's, I need to I need to delete this ID in order to show nothing, right? Otherwise, I will still have this image on all the record here, right? And that is confusing. So in that case, what you need to do, you need to uh, each time you get inside a record, you need a trigger that pull off this, right? But this is not a good design. The best way is to include in that relationship here is to include the ID of the pilot. Doing so now I still have the 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 ID here, right? I still have the ID here, but I'm not showing. I'm not. I'm not the, the the image anymore. Why? Because the combination of the ID of the documents that I have here and the ID of the pilot is no longer matching. It's matching. If I go back to Ken, there it will match, right? If I go back there, that match. But if I go to another one, doesn't match, right? It doesn't. Because, so now I don't have any confusion, confusion based on this, and I don't have to wipe this, right? And if I go to record to record, right? And I go back to Ken, okay, if I go back to Ken, I, I see the, the last, visited, you know, the last image I click on Ken, right? So that's why I added the two right the two the two relationship, the two predicates, is to make sure that if I go to another pilot, the selected image that I will have here won't show up, even though I still have the the ID here. Right? So if I go to the documents, uh so the document whether where the uh, pilot document. If I go there, oh no, I have my doc. Okay, no, hold on. If I go there, right, and I'm creating records for that pilot, so I'm getting, I'm going there to get the pilot ID for that guy, right? I create a new record. Let's get rid of this. I put the ID of that guy here. And I drag this icon here, this uh, photo here. Normally I should have, I must, I must have others. Yeah. So I'm inserting that. And if I create a new record, still with the same ID and this, right? So now I have two records for that guy, right? I still have this one selected on Ken, but if I go there, none are selected, but if I click here, now we select this one, and now Ken shows nothing because the combination of both IDs, the pilot and the document is no longer matching, right? Here is matching, this and this, I have a record, but this, and this I don't have, right? So that's why I'm doing this. So um, Ken asked me 
uh, send me an email, right? So can you so can, explain us? So what is what was your question and uh, what was your concern about what you know what we were doing here? So you send me an email, but I prefer you to explain that. Okay, so um, this all looks great. We have the documents this way, but. Back a few weeks ago, we created a whole bunch of status messages. You kind of saw them on the side right there. Um, I'm wondering, now that we've moved the documents to a different table, where does the where do the where do the fields that create the status live? Exactly. So because here we points. So here, because we 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 did that right, so we put this, yes. yeah, right, all the in... missing and valid fields that go exactly. along with a particular type. Yes, so that will be replaced, right, by another technique. So each so each um, each way to build things, right, each technique you use, right, um, so each. For example, here we were doing for static uh, container fields, right? So you have a container for one type of of, uh, of documents, but now we have one container and we have only one, you know, one place for all of them, right? So right. how this will how this will work? So I'm going to answer that question. I'm not sure today, but uh, definitely that will that is coming. Okay. Right? So we we we're going to do that determination. Okay, we're going to, to make that determination, right? And I'm going to explain how to do that in a very good way. Okay. Okay. So, so the other question you had was. Um well I, I sent you a bug, so I'm not sure which one you want me to ask. <laughs> but there was um, one of the ones I had um right now we're you're copying and pasting IDs to make the relationships work. Yes. So yeah. And so I'm going to build the, you know, we are going so, now so, to build yeah. the creation. So we, need a, so we need some sort of picker at some point. Yeah, we need a we need a, uh, a creation button. We need something that we go like we have here, you know, like I, I, can, I can show you, right? So like we have here, so we pick, we pick a type, okay? And we say, uh, this, one, uh, this one, like this, okay? And we add a file. So here I, I build an advanced system where you can say you select a file or you can select a folder, right? So okay. I have both, right? Yeah. So uh, so we but we are going to do that. So we're going to build something like this, but I'm not going to I'm going to bo to borrow the the add button, but I'm not going to borrow I'm not going to borrow the technique. I'm going to because here is is very is diff is different here the way I'm built here. It's, it's kind of um, a little bit, you know, much. So I'm going to, you know, it was necessary for the need, but uh, so I'm going to build a, a, a regular, uh, you know, I'm going to build a regular add button, right? Yeah, and uh, some, something, yeah. So I'm going to bother to borrow because this is a, you know, I'm going to borrow this. So. So I'm going to borrow the button and I'm going to build the button. So now we want to create, we want to add here, we want to add five, okay? And the icon will be a plus, okay? Where the plus. Okay, so I'm going to add file like this, right? So we have, uh, many options to do this, okay? But I'm going to show you one uh, that is the most, that, that works the most on most cases, okay? Okay. So we want to create a record on the, on the, on the uh, related table, right? But I don't want to leave that layout. I want to stay there, right? I want to stay there, right? So what we do, we use the magic key, you know, so something I already display, already uh, demonstrated, but I'm going to demonstrate that right now using a real case scenario, right? So we are going to add a file, right? 
are inside that are you know uh, for that pilot for that selected right. pilot. Right. So using the magic key, we need right, a global field, right? We call UUID creation. Creation. So this is a a global field, right? And I'm going to make it global. Start a global. Right. I see you have many here. Uh, so you you try something here, I bet, but let's create my own here. So now that I have this global field, right? On the other side, on the pilot, on the document here, I need another UUID, right? That I named creation. But this one is not a global. Okay. So we have on the pilots, we have a global. On the pilot, it's a global. It needs to be a global. It has to be. Uh, because we can be one, two, three, four people doing that at the same time. So if it's not a global, right, another user will see what happened on that field. Understand. If it's a global, if it's global on the network, that field, the content of that field will be will be known and will be seen only for you. On the global, I can put what I what I want on that global, and somebody else can put what he wants on the global at the same time. Right. The global, the content of the global will be valid for each user, right? Uh, but another user won't see what's inside that global, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. So now that I have this built, right, I'm going to build a relationship that will help me to create uh, a record. So it's pretty much the same. Here, the main the main uh, predicate field I want to put here is the idea from, and I have another one. So this symbol, that means I will have two predicates. I have more than one field in the, in the predicate of the, of the relationship. This is my way to, to say, okay, here I have one, here I have multiple, and here I will have multiple as well. And, and as a comment here at the end, I'm saying creation. This will create. Okay, so I name it C, so it's from pilots to documents using uh, the foreign key from and another one, okay? Pointing to the documents and I will activate the creation. So now that I have this, right? What do I do? I first connect, I'm going to connect the global you are the creation that is not global. And I'm going to connect the ID from with the pilot. I have two. Okay. Right? That and that. And I said I want to activate the allow creation. I want to be able to create a record throughout this relationship. So I need to act this. Now that I have this, I can easily create records out of this relationship. So now we're going to create the what's the name? The, um, the components on the layout, how to insert, you know, how to create a record and then insert a document, right? So here I have a glow I have a container field related to this T05B relationship. This is a container I'm using, right? Mm -hmm. To display. Right. But now I want to insert right a document. I want to insert a picture or a document inside the container throughout another relationship. So I need, right, another field, right? 
And that field points to the creation and want to display the container, right? So yep. that field here, okay, let me make it pretty. So that field here, I'm going to use it. Let's put here for now, for now. I'm going to, to use it to create a record throughout the relationship. So I'm going slow to make sure that people understand. And I need the UUID creation. So I have two fields, right? So let's get rid of this for now. I have the UUID creation and I have this that comes from the relationship, right? So now I need a very simple script, right? That creates, we create a document inside that, right? Here, I'm going to duplicate this, right? And I'm going to name uh, 1001, and I'm going to name it, create or add file in the pilot table. Okay, that's my script. What does script do? First, I need to put inside that global UUID global here creation, I need to put a, a UUID. So I need to generate a UUID inside that field, that uh, script. So what happened if I attach this script here? So what happened if I'm if I click on that button right now with this? Okay. What happened? So I'm going there where I have no nothing. So we need to we need to see what happened here. So what happened here is this. This. If I click again, this. If I click again, this, 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 this. So each time I'm clicking, I have a new ID coming. Got each it. time I'm clicking, each time I'm clicking, each time I'm clicking, each time I'm clicking, each time I'm clicking. Okay. So now let's say in that container, that container here, I have this, right? Mm -hmm. And that container, I'm dragging a photo, for example. What happened? This happened. Boom. I have a photo coming, right? Mm -hmm. And boom, I have a record. Look. Do it again. If I show the document here, That's the record. So let's let's remove that. Let's remove it. I'm showing both layouts. Right. Here I have eight records, right? Eight. If I drag this image here, now I will have nine. When you want. Yep, trigger, 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 trigger. Nine. Nine. Yep. I have one additional. Boom. I have a record created using the ID of the pilot. Why? It's because I'll make a relationship when you create, when you create using that option here. It will automatically say, okay. I get an ID here. I get an ID here. If I don't get in that table, if I don't have a matching record, create one. So it automatically will create a record if the combination of those two 
doesn't exist in this. Then create so now one what, that does have them. It will, cre it will create one, and it will create one moving the ID that I have here and the ID that I have here there. It will create a record with those two IDs, boom, here, right? Yep. Okay, so what happened now, if I those zoom stuff on the, in the middle, what happened now if I drag another uh, another picture here? What happened? Should Look replaced. what happened. It will replace. It will just replace the picture. Why? Because because the record exists. It yeah. replaced it. It didn't create a new one. It just replaced it. But it's not what I want. I want to create a new record. OK, so now what happened? Because in here, in that table, in that table, so that the thumbnail yeah. I can put it. In that table, the combination of this ID and this ID exists. This ID seven seven B E seven seven B E and six six eight three four. This the ID of that uh, pilot. Pilot, right? right. That the ID of that pilot. So the combination of those two IDs, Farmica says. 683477BE, I have it. So, okay. I just replace the picture. But what happened if I change one of those IDs? I get a new one. This, this remains because this is the idea of the. I don't want change. I want to change it. But this one, I can do whatever I want because this is a field I create for that purpose. And you can see. The image went away. Yep. Now, if I drag the document here, what will happen? Should get a new record. It will. It will here. I will have when it's done. I will have ten records. It will add a record. Why? Because the combination of that new ID C thirty, the combination of that ID C thirty two and this ID. 6834, this like the combination of both doesn't exist because I just created the idea clicking on the button. So now I have two records here related to that to that pilot. And I don't need triggers and I don't need to go to layouts, nothing. Now you understand that my script will be super, 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 super simple. I just need this. Insert, uh, you know, uh, we can say insert file, dialogue option, right? I want to insert. I want to see the content of file and compress when possible. I want those options. So now that I have this, but where I'm going to insert that document? Well, in the T05C container, I'm going to insert that file throughout the relationship, like I did right now, just drag the an icon, you know, I dragged. Right. That's, photo yeah. In, yeah, I'm doing the same with the insert. Right. Right. So what will happen now that I did this? Right. It happened this. I click here. It comes the dialogue. Right. And I can select a, a record, a, a file. It insert the file and automatically I get a new record. Right. Yep. I will get a new record attached to that pilot, right? 
So it's a two line script. Imagine if, right, you have a go to layout, new, uh, whatever, new record, insert file, go back to original layout, you know. So now I do something better than this, right? Okay. I, w I want, I want, when I insert a new file, I want that file to be selected. That would be nice. Right? That yep. would be good. You know, I just insert. I want to see it. Okay. I want to see it. Exactly. So, set fields. The field I use to display the globe, the, 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 the documents, and I'm going to borrow the ID throughout this relationship. Why? Because this relationship at that point, at that point, this relationship, the TZ05C, is available to me until I click again on that button. Until this script runs again, this relationship is available because that ID didn't change. So just after, I can just say, go to the T05C relationship and give me the ID of the documents. So I generate and to make sure, let's say, let's commit record, bomb. So now look what happened here, right? Let's delete this record and, uh, and let's delete this record as well. So, add a file, selecting this. So, this is the, the capital of the city, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's inserted, and the one selected, right? Boom. Is the one. If I click nice. another one, I select this one. This is the beach. It will be insert, it's inserting, right? Yep. And it will be this one selected. Boom. So now we have a nice add file system, correct? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Now, I don't want to, you know, insert, insert, if I remove this, field right but if i remove this field from the layout here what happened now so i don't have this field anymore right and i'm debugging this add file and i want to insert bam the field is missing why because all the inserts all the inserts, all of them, insert, all of them, all the insert, those mm -hmm. insert text, feature, PDF, all the fields, the target field to be in the layout, right? Okay. At the contrary field, all the set, we don't need the layout. We don't need the field, you know, um, we don't need the field in the layout. Set field, set field by name, okay. But the insert, we need Okay. the field on the layout. So, okay, but I don't want that field to be on the layout. I don't want the field to be seen on the layout. So let's put the field here on the side, right? Okay. Yes, but no. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. FileMaker, you know, you know, at some, some, sometime, I think they hate us, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. No, no. It's my, my, my bad, my bad, my bad. It works, you know. So, sorry. It's, it's I, I confound with some, something else. Uh, so, we can put the file. It just doesn't the, need the, to be the, in that quick find box there because it's not really. Uh, anyway, anyway, this is a container, so it won't be. Uh, it's not. It's not included. We cannot yeah. include that in quick. But I need that field to be 
outside, sorry for the confusion, the field on the side works. Okay, uh, I got confused with something else. Lost so, uh, sorry, sorry. Because I, I just did something like uh, 15 minutes before the webinar and I, I got confused, so sorry for that. So now that I have the field on the side, right? So I can yeah. insert and it will work. If we find the, the, the field on the side, right? So it's not there, it's, it's not showing, but I have it, right? right? Okay, so now I have a great insert um, system, right? But now I know what you will say to me. You say, yeah, but I want to drag a document, right? You have a, okay, so we have a problem question from yesterday. Okay, that we answer. You have a global ID, equal ID, but if it doesn't exist, we create a new record since the creator, okay. Global ID gets the, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think David's got it. He's he's just kind of restating it. Yeah, exactly. So now you say, okay, yeah, but why I want to drag and drop. Right? Yeah. So I want to drag and drop. Okay. Let's do the drag and drop. Okay. So I want to drag. So FileMaker has this possibility to drag and drop. But something nice here. I want something that looks great. This is what we you come here. You come here to see the greatness. You know, you don't want something cheap. You want something great. Okay. Absolutely. You, can, you, come, you come for the Cadillac. You don't want the Chevy. Okay. So it's very right. simple. We use file ability to display an additional record, to uh, additional row to create a record. Portal. In Apollo. Yeah. In Apollo, we all know that the last record on the Apollo, if you can type something, it will create a record. So demonstration, right? If I if I drag something here uh, using that uh, relationship TZO A, uh, I don't know, a file name, for example. So I drag this. Let's put a nice background. If I drag this here, make sure I can insert. Okay. So I can type something. But here, I don't have the additional record. Why? Because that relationship, the A, I didn't click on this. Right. Allow the creation. So now I do this. And look what happened here. I will have an extra record, empty record, an extra, an extra row, empty. And I can type whatever I want, and boom, it creates a record. Yep. I type something else, boom, I get the records. Right? Right. So using that ability, so now we have absolutely no problem of creation of making that draggable. So how we do this? Well, this is how you do. I'm going to remove that, and I'm going to group all of this together. All of this block I have here. I group it and I say is empty the ID on the T05A if this is empty. If I have no ID there, that means here what happened. If I have no ID, this goes away. Here I have a record. Here I do have a record, an extra record here. It's, it's not showing, but I have it. Right. right. But the content disappeared because by definition, the extra record that I have here, the extra row, I don't have 
IDs on the other side back because I didn't create the record yet. It's it's a it's like a ghost record, let's say, right? Yeah. So now I can go to my other solution that I have here, and I'm going to borrow this. I'm going to borrow this, right? Uh -huh. This stuff here. I'm going to point this to the T5A file container. I'm going to remove there because I have a, okay. Right? Yeah. And I'm going to say the exact opposite of this. Right. So I mean, this disappear when, you understand? Okay. okay. Yeah. When, when this is empty, I, sh I disappear. When this is not is empty to disappear. And I drag this here. So now, look this. Boom. Nice and clean, right? Nice and clean. So I can just go there, drag here. Uh, hold on. I don't know if it's... Uh, do I say uh, editable? Yeah. So we can say uh, when we drag something like, you know, when we hover, we can change the color. When we pressed, we can change the color. And when we focus, we can change the color. Right. Okay. So that will that will help a little bit. But I, I'm, I'm not yeah. sure if it will it will do anything. See here, I can go there, right? So I can do, but it doesn't. See, FileMaker, the drag and drop, they didn't, you know. But now, but I can works. drag something here. I can drag something here. And now, boom. I have the record. I can drag something here. See, you are, we have the plus here. Yeah. Okay, I can drag. And boom, it creates the record. So now, something is missing. I need, you know, I need, uh, I want that to be selected. Right. When I drag, I want that record to be selected. Right. Mm -hmm. So I have a trigger for that. Right. So let's make this better. Okay. So I have a trigger for that. Right. So I can even bother the trigger I have on the other side. Right. So I'm going to trigger, I'm going to borrow this script, the 2053. Okay, 2053. Uh, it will be the B, I think. The B, yeah? D, dog. Dog. Oh, D. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah. But that one is, was a little bit complicated because I have so many things to do. But I'm going to build my own. Okay. Because this one is complicated. So. I have a trigger, right? This is on on. Don't remember. It's on on objects. Uh, I don't remember on which on objects. Oh, modify. Yeah. So it's on on object modify. On object modify. Uh, it's select documents okay so this is what okay. he's doing and i'm going to change to make it two on object modify select okay so now very simple right we say oh, i can current documents id documents and i'm going to take this out from the script parameter, okay? The script parameter will give me the ID of the documents, right? Okay. Now that I have this, I can say set field, set field, right? The field I use to show the selected documents, 
and I'm pasting this here. So why I, I could have say set field with the script parameter, but you know me, I, I explained it to you for debug purposes, it's great to have uh, the possibility to see that we can make it non-global, by the way, right? So yeah. we, we grab with the variable and then we set the variable, right? So that should work well, right? So we put this on, on object modified, right? We go to triggers, this one ends. I need from the 05A, right? I need the ID of the documents. So, because this, this field here is part of that pole. That pole is pointing to the T05A. So, this parameter, this, this, this uh, uh, trigger, I want the parameter to send it to me. It's much safer, sure, to get the ID of that particular record, right? We're sure. Okay. okay. So the so demonstration, right? So let's go to another pilot. Insert. Boom. And it's selected. I don't know why it's not showing it. Uh, maybe I need I need a commit here. Let's say with the commits. Because if it's not com com because it, this are global, right? So we need to make sure that we commit the record. No, it's not doing it. No, it stayed on the first one. Yeah. Don't know why. It's still the first, right? It's still selecting the first. I mean, uh, that's weird, though. Uh, it's weird. Because it should have, you know. Okay. Yes, I know. Okay, so uh, how I did that here, because, I, you know, it's um, how I did that here to select the, to select the thing. I, I know there's a method for that. Yeah, at the end, set a new documents. So, yeah, new documents. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, it's a little bit more complicated. So, let me let me demonstrate that tomorrow. I don't want to... Uh, uh, you know, to, um, what's the name, um, take all the time on this. But anyway, yeah, let's remove this, right? We have so many other things more important than cover, right? So now, okay, we have the drag and drop. I will, I will show that tomorrow, don't worry. So now we want something. So we have the drag and drop. Uh, we have everything coming, the new documents. So now, uh, don't Login, don't remember the question. From past, so we have a question here from the past webinar about URL script. Okay. When I use URL to call a script inside the script, the reload. Okay. Yeah. But that is, uh, David, this is not part of the uh, today topic, but I will answer that. Okay. So now we have the, so do we have any question about this? Right. I will show you tomorrow. I, yeah. I'm good. With, I'm good with this. Yeah. So, Let's go back. Let, I want to move to the to the type. Right. So let the people typing. So, Marge, do we have any question on the other side? Nope. Uh, no? I, okay. YouTube and Twitch, I assume, are watching, but they haven't had any questions okay. so far. Okay. So. Okay. So now about the type. Okay. It's a different type. My philosophy on FileMaker is always to use records, to rely on records for everything, right? So okay. demonstration here, you know, for everything. Demonstration here. I have here a table where I pretty much have everything I need here, right? So I have a the document type, the parser tail form, the invoices, the values, you know, the, um, the, I have all my, everything I need there, you know, is there for the, for the document type, right? The document okay. type here, right? 
if I need to change the document type of that doc for that here in that I have a list of records. I don't rely on a value list. Okay. It's not enough. It's not enough. Value list shouldn't be used for that type of, of things. When you want to to get something like this, like it's, it's something that you will it will be used. Like, you know, like if I go there and I select these documents, right? And I want to move to another type. Those are the document type, but they are all records. I don't have a value list. I understand. I, no, it's not enough. And I'm going to explain why. So now we, so now we, that we know that, okay, we need a table so we can create a dedicated table for that or uh we can just uh you know use the same technique i'm using so far right it's use a table and i call that you know it's a value list items okay so why i'm naming this is because the Getting a value list, building a value list is not enough, but building a table with records and fields, we can get value list out of this, right? So, so that's why I call that value list. So right. here I'm going. I'm going to um, remove this, and I'm going to add the field I need. Right, first. Most of all, I need, uh, you know, uh, I need an ID, you know, I need a UUID for that record. So that for always each case, yeah. You know? yeah. yeah, for each individual. So I have a value list, I have a, a, a value list item ID, okay? And then I need a value. No, whatever will be the name of this. Mm -hmm. So, what type of document can, uh, what type of, uh, yeah, what type of document do we have? So, we're going to name them one by one. Okay. okay. Do we want and, to, I'm, I'm going to kind of skip ahead here a little, I think. Do we want to categorize them at some point? Because there's balloon documents and pilot documents. Okay. So, that's, for now, we're going to do the pilot documents. Okay. When we do, when we finish with the documents, I'm going to switch back, and I'm going to show how we build something like this. Uh, tools, system. How we build something like this. Got Sorry. it. Okay. And be able to add a value here. Mm -hmm. Right directly okay. right okay for example if i go if i go to the parcel uh to you know where are my um where are my but you have lots of layers there yeah Levels. so here yeah, yeah document type so all my, you know you have all my yeah. all the document type and here we have all the options in the document type okay so i'm going to explain but now i want to focus on this so let's go there and add one by one. So let's present that like this. And let's add one by one what they are, right? So which type of we need? So pretty much the one we have on the pilot documents, right? Right. Yeah. The, the certificate, front, back, the flight review, okay, insurance, yeah. so, and signatures. Okay. Certificate, front. Right? Yep. Certificate back. Back. Flight review. You have the fly, flight review. Correct. Right? Yep. Insurance. And actually, this brings up a uh, uh, kind of another kind of related question here. The other thing we have is we have, oh, yeah, medical and then uh, a headshot. 
Is there any advantage to keeping the pilot headshot in this same table versus putting it in right on the pilot database itself, table itself? But we, but we can uh, we can use the same table document table for this. So what you mean headshot is this, right? Is that that's yeah? Is this okay? Yeah. So for the headshot like this, right? Uh, it could we, just be over there. It can, it could be you know it, it will it will be in the document table, but in a different way. And I'm going to show you this, okay? So, uh, but for, for now, for now, I'm going to let, yeah. Let's let, we can come back to that. Yeah, yeah. You will see how that that's the same, okay. the same way. You will see, but we can remove for yeah. We can remove that from the you know from this, okay? So now, right? We right. have those uh, certificate front, certificate back flight review insurance medical okay so now we have this ergo i have an id right yes. so now on the document table on the document table i'm going to add where's the doc table okay here i'm going to add a foreign key documents type so now i have a key i have an id for the document type and this here it will be the document type the name of the document type this will be the id of the document that's the type. key right and then the, the value comes okay. over to the other. yes yes okay so now why we do this right well, it's because we are going to use something. So I'm going to show you. So let's keep this. Let's say here on the document type, let's say I'm typing it manually. So I'm, I'm typing it, I'm typing the name. I relay, I re, let's say I'm, I want to rely on the name. Okay. So let me make sure I can type on this. Make sure I can type on this, right? M want to make sure that we can type. Well, yes, I type on this. Yeah, okay. So let's say I'm I'm going to do this. Oh, I have a typo of the document type table here. Uh, documents, documents. So let's say because we have here the problem when you rely on names, and I'm going to dis demonstrate. The, the main problem on rely on names, right? Why, why, why we cannot do that? And why do you are so precious for this type of work? Here we have the certificate front, right? And we have the certificate back. Okay. By the way, I can remove the my. So I have the certificate front, the certificate back, right? Yeah. Okay. So here what happened. And here, let's say I want the flight review, right? Oh. In the type. So in the type, I have flight review. Here I have certificate back, certificate front, okay? So why we cannot work on, our, you know, on names right? it's because if i do this i have a list in the t05a and i want to rely on document name i have this okay right okay and now right i want to do this path and count on that list, right? And I want to say certificate. He said I have two, right? Right. He said two, I have front and back, right? So if I say front, he said one. But if I said certificate, he said two. So if I have, in that case, it would have worked. But let's say you have, um, something where 
you don't have the front, you don't have the back. You know what I mean? So if you rely on names, it could say you you have something when you don't have. The best way, the best way is to do this. Still use the list TZO5 using the document type, which I have nothing right now, right? Right. Right. So let's populate. So let's populate this, right? IDs. Because now, right now, on the uh, the documents, I don't have the ID yet because I just created it. Right. Yeah, we have. just put it. Yeah, right. We just put it right in the. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Without so, an ID. Uh, without an ID. So, and I just do, uh, here I need to put the document type. So, what the document type is says, uh, uh, unknown. Okay, here. So let's let's take the document from do, from this guy. So that you that the free documents of Ken. Right. And mm -hmm. I just do now. Right. I want to have the ID populated. Right. I need the ID to be populated there, right here. So, how we do this? Because now we have, right, a table with IDs. But I want to be able to type the name and get the ID. Right. That's what I want. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't need to memorize those UUIDs. Yes. No. <laughs> I won't I won't do that. We have here in the documents, I said, okay, Mr. Documents, go to my table value list. Okay. You right? Uh -huh. I want the key will be the value. And this, right? This will be the value. This is B. So I'm going from documents to value list item by the value. And I want the value that I have here to be related to the document type name. Document type name. Right? Okay. So value, document type, the name, the name with the value. And now I'm going, I want to borrow the ID based on the name. I type a name here and I want the ID that comes with that table. Where's the table? I type certificate front and I want the ID. So I go there and I said, look up, use from T12 to T12B, and I want the ID, right? Because this relationship is made, whatever I put on the name that match the value, I get the ID on the other side, right? So now, this is where you have a, a nice environment that will let you do things interesting. Okay, so here now I put the ID document here. You will see that if I type this again, boom, I get the ID. Buff. Zero D F zero. Mm -hmm. If I go there, I tap again certificate back, I have D twenty five. And if I go there, I do this, I have free AA, free AA, flight free. Yep. So now I have IDs. So now, right, I can easily, easily do this. I have a list of all the IDs of my document type that I have in that list. That list coming from the T05 relationship. And then I said, okay, show me all the ID, all the document type ID. So I have all the document types ID, mm -hmm. right? So now it's super easy. I have this, right? It is super easy 
to, to know if I have a certificate or if I don't have it. For example, uh, which status here, uh, which status is involved with the, the front and back? Um, certificate. And what, a, this, yeah. This one. Yeah. Right. So here in the past, we were going to a table that was showing, telling me if I have the if I have the certificate or not, right? On on both. Remember, we yes. have a, a tag right. missing dog. Okay. Yes. Right. Right. So now, how can I say, right? If I have the, you know, if I have both. I have the IDs of those things. I have IDs here. Those IDs are not going to change, right? Are not going to change. Those ID, not going to change. They are there forever. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I copy. So I, you know, I copy that ID, the first one, right? And uh, so I copy that. I go there, so I have a good technique for that. So I paste this here. Also, real quick. Yes. Uh, can you we need to go. Head... Yeah, I need I need to go unfortunately because of Haley meetings. Okay. So okay, no we problem. Begin heading so we so up. yeah so we're going to continue tomorrow. No problem. Uh, so we left there. Oh no, tomorrow is tomorrow. We don't have it. No, it's, we uh... have Monday. So... Yeah, Monday. be back on okay. Monday. So we'll be back on Monday. Uh, so can yeah, I'm going to send you the file by the way. Uh, that's what you asked me, yeah. And uh, then I think we talked about um making it available to um, yeah, the folks on the stream too, yeah. Yes. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to download the file, send it to you, send to March. Perfect, perfect, okay. Cool. Sounds good to me, so, thank you. Yeah, and so we'll pick up we on this a, on Monday, on Monday, yeah, great. See you on Monday. Thank you very much. Thank um, you. See you all later, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Biomaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the Biomaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir. Oh,